everybody thank you so much for joining me today in this video um, this is just gonna be a little sketchbook tour of everything I did for Inktober this year I hope everyone has had a fantastic month of October and as probably a lot of you are already familiar with Inktober is um, an art challenge that people will do in the month of October where you're supposed to complete one ink drawing every day for the month and last year I did it for the very first time it was super fun actually if you've seen any of my other videos the fairy flower drawings that I've been colorizing were actually my inktober pieces for last year uh, but this year what I had planned to do originally was just you know something really fun simple just uh, fan art easy to do every day nothing really in depth but literally the day before Inktober was supposed to happen so Inktober started on Tuesday and so on that Monday I was just sitting at my desk I was working doing like you know actual work work client stuff and I just had this image pop into my head of just this little witch girl, just kind of like sad and lonely looking for a friend and other images started just popping into my head, all this stuff and so I just had to grab my sketchbook and thumbnail out all my ideas and it kind of turned into a little bit of a story and I, I was really pleased with how it all turned out and excited and uh, it's been a lot of fun to do. And I hope you all will enjoy looking through it all with me. Um, before we start, I will kind of do a little quick run through of the tools I used. Um, most of my pins were just the Copic Multiliner. This is what I did, used for most of my outline work. And this one, kind of a little smaller, um, more detailed stuff. And then I to fill in like the larger black areas I would use you know more of a brush tool a little bit bigger and then for my coloring I kept it just mostly to the neutral gray uh, Copic markers and that was that seemed to work really well um, for any mistakes or highlights if it were a bigger space, I would usually use um, the Uniball, and if it was smaller, more detailed, the Jelly Roll was really nice for that. Uh, the sketchbook I used this year, um, it is actually an Illo sketchbook, which I'd never tried out their sketchbooks before, um, but I'd seen it online. I thought it might be fun to use, so I just, you know, I went for it. The size seemed nice. Um, I, I did enjoy it. The paper quality is, um, it's nice. It works pretty well for ink. Go to just a plain page. Like, it has a nice color. It's, it's not too thin to see through. Um, I will say for markers, if it was, you know, a lighter color, like just the neutral two or three or one like it, it would be fine there'd be no bleed through no problem um when it came to the darker markers like in four and in five i guess things with uh you know a higher level of pigmentation it it did bleed through i did lose a couple pages where i wasn't paying attention and didn't realize what was going on before it was too late but other than that like I, I really do like the quality and texture of the paper, um, so I, I may I may try out these sketchbooks again at some point. Um, so, like I said, when I came up with the idea, I just kind of, you know, came to my sketchbook and I just started thumbnailing out all the dates. And what I did was it was almost like a stream of consciousness thing, where I just went through. And I just had all these pictures and ideas in my head, and I just kind of sketched them out all at once. And after sketching them out, like, you can kind of see how I went through and kind of, like, fixed up some of the dialogue, some areas where I changed more than others, just to get a better flow 
to the story, to the ideas. Uh, you can see here, I was kind of trying to experiment with if colors would bleed through. And, like, again, the lighter colored markers really did not bleed through at all. Like, they did really well. So that, that was really nice. Um, so these are just all the thumbnails. Just really quick, messy sketches. So this page is... I was just kind of sketching out some ideas, just getting used to the pens, just figuring out the design for the character, what I wanted to do. And once I felt like I'd, I'd mostly gotten a good handle on the character, I started on day one, which is, sometimes you get a little lonely, and you start looking for a friend. But some people may lash out at you. And others will just laugh at your misfortune. Some people may be too quiet. And some people may be a little too loud. Some people will try to intimidate you. while others just want to play pranks. Now see, on this day, this one was a bit of a struggle because, like, you can see the, the, the preliminary sketch that I did and it just, it wasn't working for me. Like, I was just really frustrated. Like, her design wasn't what I wanted. Her pose wasn't, like, it didn't feel like it, it fit. It felt like it, it wasn't as like close enough to her other designs that I'd already done and so this one I was like you know what it's it's just not working I need to start from scratch and so I redid it and I, f I feel like it's it's much cuter it was much closer to the idea I had in mind so I was, I was really glad that I just started from scratch that day trying something different and for this day some people may seem friendly, but they're already busy with friends of their own. Some people have standards you'll never live up to. And some people make you feel like they're just talking in code. Some people will be rude. Now I will say for this one, <laughs> This was day 13, and um, it it definitely felt like a number 13 kind of day. Like, nothing went right. You can see how I had to, like, white out tons of areas. Like, I'm not sure if you can see how I almost had to white out her entire hand and redraw it. It just, everything was just going wrong on this piece. And, like, even as I was erasing, like, it tore the page, like... Oh my goodness, I, I was very glad for this one to just be done. This was not my favorite, but you know, you, you can't, they can't be all winners, so we just move on from that. And for day 14, some people can be a little cold. Some people are in too much of a hurry. And some people aren't going anywhere at all. Some people will want you to make bad choices. While some people don't even seem to realize you're there. And you can see this was the first day. This bench, I used neutral five, which was, that was the first time I had used a color that dark. And I didn't even because it had been going so well with all the lighter colors, I didn't even think about it. When I turned the page, it was like, oh my goodness, like, there, there was, there was a bit of, bit of bleed through on that one, but lesson almost learned. And so next day we have, some people may seem to be friendly when they're really only in it for themselves. Some people won't share any of your interests. 
and some people are only focused on their work. Some people may seem beautiful. And you can see here again, <laughs> really big bleed through. But the thing was like, these were actually lighter colors. I think what my problem was is that I just, I saturated the page a lot in order to like blend a darker into the lighter. And I was not thinking about it while I was doing it. And it was just way too much pigmentation for the page paper to handle so we got some major bleed through there but I think with this one like I, I mostly learned my lesson of of when I need a blotter page behind it so so we have some people may seem beautiful but only on the outside sometimes your worlds are just too different and you're just going in different directions. And you feel like you just don't fit in anywhere. And that you're just going to be all alone forever. And just when you feel like you've given up hope, Then someone may come along with a connection so perfect, it'll feel like magic. And that's the end. Thank you so much for joining me today, going through my sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun for me to make all of these come up with the concept. Thank you so much to everyone who has already subscribed for all your likes and comments. It means so much that you're interested in my work and if you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a like, maybe subscribe if you'd like to see more of my work. Um, if you ever have requests, anything specific you'd like to see from my channel, please feel free to leave a comment at any time. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.